Hey, good morning. It's Friday, February 25th. Again, thanks so much for being here this morning. So I'm going to do another talk on video on sons. I did two for daughters of, of the king and then one on the sons of the king being that. But this morning, I want to focus particularly on how we can challenge our young men, our sons, husbands, fathers, to live as if they are sons of the king, to live as if they are sons of light rather than sons of lust. In our culture, in the Western culture, we are raising young men who have been raised by men who sadly more resemble servants and sons of lust rather than sons of light. Lust is more than just looking at wrong things and fulfilling wrong desires. Lust is something which is focused on self. And anytime we wind up being focused on self, Paul tells us at Ephesians that we stop caring for other people and we start craving things for ourselves. And that may seem innocent at first. After all, we deserve to have some enjoyment or whatever. But what it leads us to is unbridled self-fulfillment, gratification, and all the ugliness of lust. Two men in the Bible I want to talk about as an example. One is son of light and the other is son of lust. The son of light was a young man named Josiah who had a terrible father, an even more terrible grandfather. And for whatever reason, the troops around him, when they killed his father, who had just been there two years, and they made him king of Israel at eight years old. And this young man grew to someone who had a passion for God and was a son of light. And when he read the word of God, it inflamed him to do the right things for God, have a passion for God. He's described in Kings and Chronicles as a young man whose heart was responsive to God. He had a soft heart for God. And that soft heart was typified by this passion, by desires going in the right way of standing for God, restoring the land, getting things done in the way that no one can imagine. So Josiah is the son of light, son of a king, not a very good one. Grandson of a king, an even worse one. Manasseh and Emma. But God worked in him where he was a son of the true king. And that's what we want to work with our children, with our young men. Help them to be sons of true kings. The one true king. The contrast with Josiah is Amnon. He also was the son of a king. But he was a son of lust because he sat around all day not doing anything except being depressed and discouraged about all the things he couldn't have. And that led him to an ugly, consuming trail of passion and lust and selfish desires which brought all kinds of damage to the house of Israel, the house of David. So he had a good father. But he had a father who focus was lost and he too even for a short season became living like someone who was a son of lust and we see the damage the horrific damage that that did young men old men fathers sons husbands you can't allow your focus to drift from what it means to be a son of light 
and all the wonderful things of God that that means, the blessings of God, the joys of God, what it means to keep his word, to delight in being a servant, to delight in caring, to delight in viewing women as beautiful, special creations, co-equal image bearers with you, not to be objectified, not to be made as someone who's designed to serve me, where I view women, where I view my life as what can be done for me to make me happy. See, that's Amnon. He was the son of lust. Josiah was the son of light. We have this opportunity right now in this culture to shut out the darkness of lust. And we've got to become passionate about it. We've got to be consumed with light. So I'm so thankful here to be on the ocean. You see the beauty of the light, the power of it. May the light of the scripture shine in the darkness and may we rescue our young men from being sons of lust. Teach our daughters to distinguish between someone who is focused on themselves. That's a son of lust. And someone who is passionate for God. That's a son of light. I'll be talking more and more about this as the days go on. But this is huge for us. Someone who is primarily interested in getting their needs met and valuing things that are pleasing to them. That person, that man is going to objectify women, is going to objectify his wife and have everybody around him be his servant. And he'll be a son of lust, whether it's an acceptable son of lust where he just does things for himself, or he becomes an all-out pervert. There is no good son of lust. Let's pray for sons of light. Let's encourage our young men to be sons of light. Fathers to be sons of light. Husbands to be sons of light. To live that heritage that we have from Josiah. And that's the thought for this day. It's a heavy thought. But then it's a glorious thought. Because we can live as sons of life. And I pray that our young women will learn to long to value sons of life. And that young men will rise up so that they could be someone for them to value. And that's the thought for this day. Check us out every day, talk247.com. You have them turn on post notifications, turn them on, videos will come right to you. Thanks so much for being here and Lord willing. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day.